so continuous extension at a point, uh, how we make a function continuous. Um, uh, immediately when I see these type of problems, I think of piecewise and how can I define this in a way to make it make sense, if that makes sense. All right. So they ask us to define f of 3 in a way that extends the function x cubed x squared minus 9 divided by x minus 3 at a, at a to be continuous at x is equal to 3. So this is how the function looks. Now it, it doesn't it doesn't I just put this there to 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 be demonstrative and show you guys what's happening but knowing how the function looks is not uh not a big issue or not that you have to know. It's just something that I put there. But anyway, I so I think of piecewise. And so what I'm going to do is the first thing you want to do in this type of problems is find the limit as x approaches what they're asking you or x is equal to 3. If you want to be continuous where x is equal to 3, as you can see right now, there's a removable hole right there, so it's not continuous there. So you want to find the limit as x approaches 3, so you could plug in that point, right, to make this continuous, right? So I'm going to say, okay, well, the limit as x approaches 3 of the function f of x, and I'm not going to write the whole function, just leave it as f of x, right? Well, maybe I should. <laughs> maybe I should. Uh, maybe you write that. The limit as x approaches 3 of the function x squared minus 9 over x minus 3, right? Well, this is, you know, 0 over 0, right? This is in term then, so we could factor the limit as x approaches 3 of x minus 3 x plus 3 over x minus 3, right? We could cancel these factors. And so the limit as x approaches 3 of x plus 3 is actually 6. So this is the part now where it's going to make sense. We want to write the points as 3 and 6. 3 being the x coordinate that we plugged in and 6 being the limit that we got, all right? All right, and this is just pure side work. This here is the real work. This is just side work that you should do on the side of the paper, all right? And so here's how we're gonna define it to make sense. We're gonna use a piecewise function. So we're gonna say the function of f of x is gonna equal, now the piecewise function, these are our y values. The x coordinate is gonna be over here. The function of x squared minus 9, where divided by x minus 3, right? So we're, we're defining it in that way where x cannot equal 3. Because remember, if we plug 3 in here, we get 0. And this is 0 over 0, but definitely we have a 0 in the denominator. So this is where x cannot be 3. Now here's how... We're going to make it continuous at x is equal to 3. At 6, x is equal to 3. And that maybe I shouldn't draw the bracket here, but this is basically how we define um, how that function will be continuous in here. Now we just fill in this blank, right? Because think about it. What is this telling you, basically? This is telling you where... If we graph this function, this piecewise function, this is what we're going to get. And basically what it's telling you is that at this function, x cannot be equal to 3. So you're going to have that removable hole right there, that bigger hole right there. Right? Well, the limit or the y-coordinate is 6, where the removable hole is for the y-coordinate. You see? It's actually 6. And so... At 6, x is equal to 3. So we that's just a point. That is just a point. So at x is equal to 3, we have 6. And so that's how you make a function continuous at a point or continuous extension.